and an entrepreneurship. So why be an entrepreneur? Right? Ask yourself, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Right? And some 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 of the reasons why people want to be entrepreneurs because you know they want to be their own boss. Right? They want to pursue their own idea or ideas. Um, they want to get the financial reward. Uh, they want to have a better quality of life. Right? You know, when you're an entrepreneur. Um, it's really 24-7, 365. If you want to escape your corporate world of 9 to 5 and you launch into entrepreneurship because you want to escape your 9 to 5, you're, you're in the wrong business because you're going to get going to have more work because as an entrepreneur, you are the main person, right? The buck stops with you, right? If, if, if you're the, 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 co- the founder of, of the business, um, and of course, and you're not guaranteed any financial reward, right? That's the thing about entrepreneurship. It, it's unstable. Remember when I talked about it? it's unstable. There's there's no stability in the beginning of an entrepreneurship venture. So to give financial reward, you, you know, you hear these stories about uh, if you looked at about Uber, right? Uber, the car sharing app. I mean, the the ride sharing app. Sorry, the ride sharing app. You know, you hear about one of the first employees of Uber is a billionaire. At the moment of this recording, you know, there was an article about the one of the first uh, employees of Uber is, is a billionaire. And billionaire. That type of individual or the people who make billions off their venture, you know, it's rare. It's not common for everyone to succeed and become billionaires. So the financial reward can be there, but it's not always guaranteed. Right? Again, better quality of life maybe afterwards when you make your millions or billions there may be some quality of life but at the very beginning you're always working um, so of course you have to ask yourself why why do I want to become an entrepreneur so you have to ask yourself that but these are some of the reasons why people want to become entrepreneurs so what can we learn from uh, uh, entrepreneurs right um, here's the thing about entrepreneurs right successful entrepreneurs are able to combine adaptability with persistence no matter the obstacles this is the one thing about entrepreneurs right when we talk about what is entrepreneurship right here it is you know you know your introduction to entrepreneurship entrepreneur they could they they combine adaptability with persistence remember those two words in the combination no matter the obstacle, right? They adapt and they persist. If you look at very successful companies, the reason they're still standing is because they adapt and they persist. Those individuals behind those companies adapt and persist. When they don't adapt and when they don't persist, right? I mean, they can persist, but if they don't adapt, you fail. Look what's going on to Sears. Look what happened to Kmart. Look what happened to Venture. Look what happened to Toys R Us. Look what happened to Montgomery Wards. Look what happened to uh, 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 Toys R Us. <laughs> I remember I mentioned already. You know, look what happened to uh, Marshall Field. Right? If there's no adaptability, if there's no persistence, you're going to fail, right? No matter the obstacles, you can't blame, oh, it's the internet, oh, it's this company, or it's that company, it's this, it's, um, it's this generation, that generation. No, you have to be able to adapt. And that's what entrepreneurs do when they have their ventures. They are able to adapt and persist, right? So some of the things about entrepreneurs, right? Uh, they are achievement motivated. They have an internal locus of control. Uh, they take calculated risk. One thing about entrepreneurs is that they don't uh, gamble. They take extremely calculated risk. They don't want to risk. All, they don't put all the chips on one table. Uh, they find opportunities, right? They're very independent. Uh, they're self-confident, assertive, and persuasive, right? They have persistence. They have tenacity. They don't. Uh, they continue no matter the obstacles. So that is what makes a, a, an entrepreneur. So uh, that, of course, wraps up of what is entrepreneurship. As we, you know, we talked about entrepreneurship is creating value where there was none before. Um, that, of course, if, if you want to take anything from this uh, module, is that's what it is, entrepreneurship is. You know, it's creating value where there was none before. Uh, that is what entrepreneurship is. And to be able to, you know, as someone who creates a new business in the face of risk and uncertainty, uh, they see opportunities, right? It's the process of pursuing opportunities without limitation of resources. So that is what entrepreneurship is. And, and, and an entrepreneur 
management is adapt and persist no matter the obstacles. And they have some of these traits and characteristics. And there's nothing wrong. If you don't have these traits and characteristics, right, you're going to face some challenges if you want to be your, own, be your own entrepreneur. But, you know, you can build those these traits and characteristics. Some people just have them. Um, and, of course, that goes back to the debate, are entrepreneurs born or are they made, right? And there's no scientific evidence to prove that entrepreneurs are born, but they may have some better, some traits and characteristics more than others.